The real risk in old age is not dying. The real risk, financially speaking, is living. Living to 100. <laughs> 100. People are collecting benefits much longer than the pension system expected. And that system has been financed by taking taxes from young people and giving it to old people and promising young people they'll be able to tax their kids when they're old. Wow. The US, the UK, France, Korea, Japan, China, all these countries may effectively be bankrupt because they haven't prepared for the aging of their population. Substantial increases in senior citizens' poverty, unrest. Just not fair. There are some things like retirement savings where you don't have a second chance. You get to age 65 and you say, oh, I made a mistake. There's no redoing. Only the young can be entrepreneurial. Rubbish. I was 51 when I set up my business. Pays your kid in money. Until about 150 years ago, people lived about 40, 45 years. You reproduce and you drop dead. Nobody was projecting the increase in life expectancy that we've seen recently. The entire global population is going to be a whole lot older. We need to focus people's attention on the risk of living and living and living to a very old age because many, many, many of us are going to do that. What this has meant for the pension system is that uh, people are collecting benefits much longer than the pension system expected. So they don't have uh, the resources to pay for that length of time. And as a result, they're starting to run short. This is not something that appears that it's going to stop anytime soon. The real risk in old age is not dying. The real risk, financially speaking, is living. Living to 100, living on cat food. Living longer is something everybody wants, and you don't want to live for 100 years and half of that you are poor. If you don't plan now, then disaster is waiting in the future. I've had a look at your test results. I'm sorry. It's bad news. How long have I got? Another 50 years at least. No! How am I going to afford that?